Now it's always an exciting time when Cleveland bring out a new set of wedges and I've been lucky enough here today at West Hill Golf Clubs to give the new RTX 3.0 wedges a try before the official launch uh, of the product in a few weeks time. Now there's lots of updates to the new wedge that make it stand out and differ to the RTX 2.0 which we saw launched a couple of years ago. The first to talk about is the fill balancing technology. So what Cleveland have done with this new wedge is they've taken weight out of the hosel area as we know in iron and wedge design a lot of the weight is constantly concentrated in the hosel area and what that does is it moves the centre of gravity location towards the heel side of the golf club so Cleveland have, have moved the CG more towards the centre of the face by narrowing and, and taking weight out of the hosel they've inserted uh, a micro cavity in the hosel that saves two grams they've also shortened it by a centimetre to combine those two together means more weight is towards the toe of the club moves the CG location into the center of the face and that's got a multiple benefits it makes the club feel better it makes it feel more stable it impacts a little bit more forgiveness and it's also going to give you better distance control cleveland in fact uh, carried out a study with lots of golfers hitting thousands and thousands of golf shots and found that um, when they were mishitting the shots it was mostly towards the toe so Aligning the CG location more towards the impact point is going to give you, like I said, better distance control, definitely more forgiveness and hopefully a better feel as well. You'll see here it comes in um, different finishes. So we've got the tour satin, which we saw with the previous generation. And then we've got this dark satin here, uh, this black satin, I think Cleveland call it. Cleveland say this black satin is a lot more durable than wedges gone by and competitive wedges as well. So if you tend to hit a lot of bunker shots, uh, you should notice less scuffing with these wedges compared to the old version. The wedges have also been made more versatile by narrowing the sole. And there's also an implementation of a slightly different bounce design on the sole of these wedges. There is three different uh, grinds if you like, like we saw with the previous generation of Cleveland wedges, but these have taken a leaf out of the Strixon irons uh, with, this, with the VT sole, so more of a V shape on the bottom and the peak of the V will move closer to the leading edge or further away from it, depending on the amount of bounce that you want, depending on your uh, swing type, you know, your, your playing turf conditions that you tend to uh, play and, and also the versatility. So uh, if, obviously if you want to have less bounce, the V shape will move closer to the leading edge and then if you want a little bit more bounce, it will move further back. The other benefit of this V-shaped design on the sole and the narrower sole overall is that it's going to be more forgiving through the turf. In fact, Cleveland say that this new design is going to retain 23% more ball speed through the turf compared to the previous generation wedges. So if you do maybe catch the ball slightly heavy, uh, you're not going to lose out on distance as much as you did with the old wedge. Cleveland have also updated the club face on these. We've got new Rotex face design, so new new shaped grooves, a little bit sharper edges, slightly narrower. I mean, this is more towards getting more control from the rough and in wet conditions, things like that. We've also got a micro milling on the face and then laser milling in between the grooves, all been updated to improve control and reduce the amount of flies that you get from the rough on full shots, especially with the lower wedges, and then give you a little bit more control on shorter shots with the higher lofted wedges. I've got the black satin in 56 degrees um, with the low bounce grind. We've got VLG here, I presume on, on that means uh, the low bounce grind. I've also got the full sole grind in the 60 degree lob wedge. I've been playing around in the short game area here at West Hill Golf Club. I've also been hitting some shots on the range and collecting some data on the range mat using my GC2 launch monitor from Foresight Sports. I mean, the first thing to talk about down address, like I said, I've been a Cleveland uh, 588 RTX 2.0 wedge user for uh, a couple of years now. The shape of these wedges, I would say, is slightly more rounded at address. Looking, you can see, if you put the faces together, actually there's a slightly narrower groove section on the new 3.0 wedges compared to the, the 588. I didn't notice that until I put them next to each other. It doesn't really affect the confidence that you get over the ball or anything like that. It's just a more of a design feature. Now, I hit some shots on the launch monitor comparing the new wedge to the old wedge. Now. I've got a 56 degree sample here and I've got a 54 degree sample in my old wedge. So not a direct comparison and of course the old wedge has got worn grooves so it's not a direct comparison, there's um, not like for like as such. But when I hit the two on the launch monitor, I was hitting kind of three quarter pitches, uh, so kind of 80 yard shots. And obviously as expected I got more spin with the new wedge, about 250 RPMs more spin but more importantly what I noticed was that I got a much tighter dispersion with these wedges. My old wedges were around four yards on this 80 yard pitch compared to the new wedge which was under 0.5 I think it was 0.4 yards offline with the new wedge so while 
I obviously got more spin than that was to be expected. What I wasn't expected was the, the tighter dispersion. There's no doubt these wedges feel a lot crisper, uh, a lot more solid, a lot more stable at impact. Um, and that's really going to help you on you know, your scoring shots. These are shots that you need to get close if you're trying to get up and down for a par. These clubs certainly seem to give you uh, a little bit more forgiveness, a little bit more accuracy on approach shots. Around the green, you know, as expected, it performed uh, exceptionally well. I mean, it rained here this morning, so I was able to hit some shots from wet conditions. Even noticed a little bit of check on some of the chip shots I hit. Different lies. I've got a couple of different bounce options here. I've got a 60 degree, uh, like I said, in the full so, and then uh, the low bounce grind here with the 56. I was able to open the face up, play some different shots with these. It really does help you be a little bit more aggressive when you know you've got that versatility and the spin control from poor lies. I think I would definitely go for the tour satin option. It's a stunning looking golf club from every angle. Price is a TBC, so uh, check the golf monthly for those once they come out. Um, but as expected, a really great offering from Cleveland. It's a very a classic looking wedge. Uh, even though it comes in this muscle back design, there's no cavity back design option coming uh, in the UK this year. With that new CG location, they feel stable, they're more forgiving, they're gonna give you more accurate wedge shots. And I do recommend if you're in the market for a new set of wedges, you go and give them a try.